Hello everyone, welcome back. So guys, in our previous session, we were discussing about what is data modeling and what is the importance of data modeling. In our today's session, let's understand few more terms like cardinality and what is the filter flow direction and how many types of cardinalities are there. First of all, let's go back to Power Pivot and click on Manage. As soon as you click on Manage, click on Diagram View. Okay, the diagram view uh, is here. Here, previously we created some relationships. If I, if you see, if you hover over this relationship, it will uh, tell you the two columns between which the relationship has been built. These relationships build between primary and the foreign key. Now, what is a primary and a foreign key? Let's understand that. Let's say you are a customer. You are a customer at Amazon, and every month you purchase some few things, or every yearly you purchase four to five stuff. Okay, when they are recording your data your id is created once right that is your customer id your customer id is created once in their database and every time you will place an order that customer id will be recorded again and again like instead of all your details only your customer id will be repeated again and again so that with the reference of that customer id they can see your details right so your customer id is coming one time in customers data while at the same time that id is repeating multiple times in the orders data that is what primary and a foreign key is a primary key is a unique key a unique identifier for example aadhar card aadhar card is our unique identifier there can be many people with the same name but there is only one person with one kind of aadhar id right so our aadhar id is our primary key that same aadhar id if it is reoccurring multiple times in some different kind of a table that would be called as a foreign key okay similarly the pizza type id pizza type id is coming one time in the pizza types that pizza type id is reoccurring multiple time in the pizzas here we have pizza id the pizza id is coming one time in pizzas but it's reoccurring multiple times in order details Similarly we also have order id over here and we also have order id here as well if i drag and drop it over order id it would give us a relationship of one to many that means this order id is coming one time in the orders data and that similar id is coming multiple times in the order details okay this is how we build a relationship between the tables and you can arrange them as you want now there is only pizza type pizza type id which is not here it is only here pizza id is here and pizza id is here as well we have order id and order details id order id is here and order id is here as well that's why we have built the relationships in between them this one to many shows the type of relationship one to many is that in this table the id is coming one time many over here asterisk uh, the star over here shows asterisk if i in, if i zoom in let me just zoom in for you okay this asterisk symbol over here means stands for many it means many that means this order id is coming one time in this table and this order id is occurring multiple times in this table so this thing is called as cardinality that means the kinds of relationships that are forming between the table the cardinality is divided into four categories there is one to one one to many many to one and even many to many based on your data uh, any kind of relationships can be created many to many relationships are not preferred as they do not give us the accurate data we prefer one to one man one to one relationship many to one or one to many relationships also you will notice there is a flow direction over here that means there is a arrow over here which tells us it is always flowing towards many as you can see towards many towards many in excel we cannot create a flow which goes both the sides the flow of data is always towards many which indicates what does it indicates let's understand that okay based on orders we can get the data of order details based on pizzas we can get the data of order details but based on anything from order details we cannot get the data of pizzas or based on anything from order details we cannot get the data of orders over here okay so wherever the flow of direction will go we can obtain the data from there only suppose we have quantity over here 1 2 3 and 4 and uh, we also have count of order id over here okay so let's say ki uh, how if we want to calculate 
um let's come back to excel for this okay let's say i'm taking another example of a pivot table over here let's copy and paste this data now what i'll try to do is that with the help of quantity which is there in um order details right so i'll mention quantity over here and i want to find order id's count so if i change it to count how i have done it again we will be discussing it in our future sessions but you can see the count is 21350 21350 21350 that means there is no relationship in between them but there is a relationship but the flow is going towards order details it's not going towards orders it's going towards order details if we check here again in the diagram view the flow is going towards order details which implies that we cannot obtain data from here based on this data like based on quantity we cannot get the order id but based on month name we can find the quantity we can find the amount we can find how many orders were placed in that month that could be done because the arrow is pointing towards this table this is what filter flow direction is i hope after the session it is clear and if i show you the example as well so if i change quantity from here and if i put a month name here and instead of this if i put let's say amount that in each month how much revenue has been generated you can see it's giving us the values as well it's not giving us the similar value again and again which tells us that it's important to see where the flow of filter is going wherever it's pointing we can obtain the data from there i hope it is clear what cardinality and filter flow direction is in our next session we will be talking about visualization how we can create pivot tables how does these pivot table works how we can create charts out of it how we can create slicers and how we can create dashboards so stay connected guys and i'll see you in the next session thank you